Yes, you want. Uh, before she... Flavours to celebrate. Mmm. <laughs> Hellman's sponsors this morning food. Uh, so we want to have dessert, Suzanne, but we want to have dinner first. Mm -hmm. Oh, my word. This is ridiculous. I How wish good you is could that? smell this because the smell is just... I mean... It's really good. Yeah, yeah it's a good it's really, one. It's really, really good. It's really good. So you're here with a pie that's yep. budget-friendly. We can freeze, we can batch cook. Yep. I mean, what's not to love? I know. I love um, simple, easy meals that you can just make in advance, have in your freezer, grab out whenever you need. That's the... That's, sort of what I'm all about, busy working parents. And this is chicken and chorizo pie with this lovely phyllo pastry well, if you don't top. Mind, I'm gonna and just dive and right in and see what you think. And Can actually we? it's healthy yeah. as well. It's coming in at about 450 calories per portion. So it's a really good one. So in order to get started, I'm using this spray sort of oil. You can, if you don't want to have it that calorie controlled, you can just use any oil. And what are your feeling got. on those spray oils? Because I always think it, it seems like a good option, but I feel like I really go for it with the spray. So is it... Yeah, it's Does still... it equal the same in the end? Well, you can actually just put in sort of any oil and use it as a spray okay, and you'll fine. use less yeah, sort right. of spray. Oh, that's a good idea. I mean. mm -hmm. So we're just going to start off with our onions. I like to use frozen chopped onions because they're cheaper, they're already chopped for you, and it makes you make it quicker. Mm -hmm. um, and the same frozen chopped garlic that I'm using. And then I'm just going to put in my chicken breasts and... They're so all going to start. So good. Are you so crunchy. Yeah. Yeah. Good. We're trying to hold it down. Good. Our excitement, but it's very so good. So you just want to start off sort of browning your chicken with your onions and your garlic, and then you can just really just bung it all in the one dish. So I'm going to add ready chopped chorizo that you can buy or you can chop it yourself. It's entirely up to mm -hmm. you. Um, and then I'm using some peppers. So I've got an orange pepper here. These are quite hard to get. The recipe says orange pepper, but it's quite seasonal, so you can use any colour. Yeah. It doesn't Do really matter. Do they taste that different, oh. different coloured peppers? No, not massively different, no. so don't worry about that. I always wonder, it's just it's the green one that's always a little bit more the, bitter, yeah. isn't it? The so, green one's always yeah, a bit... Yeah, so sometimes that's why it'll say sort of red yeah. and orange <laughs> together. Um, you knew what I meant by the way. yeah. <laughs> so you are just literally adding everything into the pan like that and just letting it brown up, OK? And I've got one here that I have already browned. Um, but just before it's browned, just add in your paprika. That's going to give it that lovely colour mm, that yeah. you can see in there as well. Some salt and some pepper. And then give it a good mix around and leave that to sit and brown. And here's one I've done earlier. I love it when people say that. <laughs> proper crunching thing. noise. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. ASMR. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Delish. That's Delish. Mm. Now you've got to try and the nice <laughs> topping. <laughs> right, now, what I always say, being the batch lady, is if you're going to make one, if you're going to get all these ingredients out, yes. you may as well double the recipe because it takes about three minutes more to double the recipe. So when you get to this stage, and then we're going to start to add in the sauce to make it saucy, and then I'll show you exactly what you do to double it. So you've doubled all the ingredients, so imagine, or I'm going to show you what to do to freeze it. Mm -hmm. So you're going to put in your um, flour. That's going to help thicken this as it, as it comes together. And then you're just slowly adding your stock in. That's how easy it is, guys. I mean, it's not tricky. And if you're worried about that you don't think you can make a pie, it, you're really just making a sort of stew and then putting some phyllo on yeah. the top, you know, so it's very simple to do. And you don't, you're not making a roux there. See, I know stuff. Oh. You're, you're not oh, making no. a roux there, just you're not a flour a roux. And, and, and that's much simpler. That's so right. It's a roux. So, What's a roux? So a roux is flour and um, butter together and then Oh, right, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. once you get to this stage, you're leaving it for about 10 minutes and then it sort of thickens up. And if you can see from this one, it's got lovely and thick. And once you're at this stage, if you've made half already, you can just get it into I your freezer bag. I could eat a bowl bag. of that, just <laughs> a bowl of that. It's, it's so nice, mm. So you it? can just get the extra mm, into your freezer bag, put your phyllo pastry on top, and that's your pie ready to go. Wow. So that's your extra oh. one for another yeah. busy night, OK? Suzanne, there appears to be some green stuff on my plate taking up pie space. <laughs> we to... Well, we just like to make sure it's nice <laughs> and healthy for sort of... you. Let me just move Don't this you over like here. A green bean? I do, but I'm so invested in the right. pie mm -hmm. here. Right. When you get to this stage, we're just going to fill our dish now, OK? So just fill your pie dish and you'll see how easy this becomes. We've just filled it like that. Then I'm going to add some cheese. I'm using oh. some low-fat cheese and it's only a okay. tiny bit, just 30 grams. And the same with low-fat creme fraiche. You just need a little bit. 
and then you're just going to give that a good mix round. And it's going <laughs> to just make it that creamy and bring it together. This outfit is a disaster. No, so, it's not the right colour, is it? I think just exploded. I drank the green juice this morning. <laughs> and just, yeah, this is not... Now, me. when you get to this stage, mm -hmm. you're just... And it this is, is how it easy is. this pie topping is. Look, you just grab your phyllo pastry, you just crumble it and lay it on the top. See, oh, I was wow. going to ask you how you got those nice swirls, but that's literally so what, it, you what can, happens. So that's the easy way to do it, or you can simply swirl it if you want. If you want to swirl, then you're just grabbing it and sort of folding it over and then twisting it around and you'll get a nice little yes. swirl. But, I mean, you know, you can do it anyway. It doesn't really matter. You're just grabbing your phyllo out but and you can do it any that, scrunch. It? It's really yeah. nice. Yeah. If you think that you want to feel like you're going to achieve something today, yes. yeah. do you know that way with not much effort and you end up with one whole pie that's ready to go in the oven. It goes in at 180 for about 25 minutes. And what and would be nice if you don't have, like, if you don't eat meat and you wanted, like, a veggie option, you could sort of just tailor it to... But you could tailor it. I would yeah. just miss out the chicken and add in some um, uh, corn or something yeah. like yeah, that, yeah. some sort of meat alternative. Mm -hmm. And again, if you've got kids that don't like peppers, you could just add in, um, say, peas, something like that. You know what you could also do is just forget about all the other ingredients, just crunch Whoop. up pastry. <laughs> and cook it and eat so it. So, once you get to here... <laughs> it's so delicious. It is, isn't it? it? Really I mean, is. who doesn't love a pie? <laughs> once you get to here, you're just putting it in your oven and then absolutely delicious. Yum. You've got one for tonight. You've That's got a crowd pizza, isn't it? For one already in the freezer, ready to go, taking up no space. And, and there's, you're there's just something about feeling it quite up. smug about yourself when you've done one earlier. You know when you've got oh. that really busy day and you're like, oh, yeah. hang on a minute, Everybody... I have that in the freezer. And you, feel like, you feel like you've got your stuff together. Are you going to bring that one home? I mean, look at that. Yeah, that's the one I made earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, serve it with some, with some veg. It's as easy as that. It's, it's delicious. It's really good. Two dinners. Really good. Two yeah. dinners made in Thank advance. Thank you very much. Mm, Thank you. you. More than well. We mm. are definitely trying to... Talk mm -hmm. and eat and everything. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. Thank you. Uh, and Suzanne is going to be back a little bit later on making fudge. Fudge. Yes, very excited about that. For all of the uh, details on today's recipe, this one first up, uh, it's over on our app.